Hey guys, it's Morgan Seggers, and today I want to talk to you about AOC's fashion choice at the Met Gala. I feel like I'm able to take a crack at this because whenever some older white man calls her out for her dangerous politics, she cries sexism and says that the men in the GOP are obsessed with her. So hey, I'm 24, I'm a woman, and I'm calling her out not for her fashion choice because I really don't care what she wears, but instead for the absolute hypocrisy of what was written on her dress because it was all political. AOC was invited to the maskless Met Gala this week where she wore a big white dress that said eat the rich all the way down the back of it in red. It was so brave. It was so stunning. What a sacrifice. In case you aren't aware, a ticket to the Met Gala cost $30,000. The cost of a full table? $275,000. In response to her political stunt, Dave Portnoy said, tax the rich, but first I'm going to have the time of my life partying with them all at the most extravagant over-the-top party of the year that is essentially a celebration of richness. <laughs> AOC is a self-identified democratic socialist that claims she will bring progress and uplift the working class by stopping evil capitalism. If you're sitting there thinking, hey, it's almost like we've heard that same story before, that's because you're right, and that's why this is important. AOC's following a dangerous trend. She has to be called out for it, and Americans have to wake up to this BS for their own good. But whenever she behaves in her classic socialism for thee, not for me, hypocrite fashion, she immediately hides behind the claim that the entire conservative side of America is just creepily obsessed with her because she's a young woman in politics. So I'll say it. I'm calling her out because it's a tale as old as time for socialists to promise progress and support for the working class via socialism, claim they are progressive and democratically socialist, not communist, but then they end up rich while thousands or even millions of their people die of starvation and political oppression because socialism is a failed concept. I kid you not. Even Fidel Castro called himself a democratic humanitarian and used to publicly reject the terms socialist and communist before ultimately admitting that that was exactly what he was. And guess what he liked to do as his people were either starving to death or being lined up on a firing wall for daring to defy his leadership. He liked to wear two Rolexes on his wrists. That's a man of the people right there, and those are the exact vibes AOC gives off when she advocates for her deadly ideas while partying it up with our nation's richest people. My favorite take on the whole thing comes from Benny Johnson, who said, cost of a ticket to the Met Gala, 30 grand. Cost of a table at the Met Gala, 275. AOC thinking she owned anybody but herself at the Met Gala, priceless. <laughs>